Here at Forum, we're going to help you better understand your time to neutral in order to improve your technique in the water. In this video, we'll outline why your time to neutral is important, how your time to neutral is measured, and how you can improve your time to neutral. Let's get started. Unlike running or biking, swimming requires us to control our breath and coordinate it with our movement. Timing your breath properly will allow you to keep your swimming continuous without breaking the coordination of your stroke. When you take your breath, your body and head are forced to turn to the side to inhale before your face re-enters the water. One way to improve your breath timing is to decrease the amount of time it takes for your face to come back into the water after you inhale. We call this your time to neutral. To give you a score for your time to neutral, we first measure how long it takes for you to take each breath. Then we measure, as a percentage, how much of your breathing stroke it takes for your head to return to the water after you take your breath and score it from one to 100. The lower the percentage, the better your time to neutral score will be. You can see your time to neutral score at the end of each length, which will be the average score over the course of the length. After each workout, we will take your time to neutral from each length, average them out, and give you a score for the workout. Finally, your overall time to neutral score will be the average score from your last five swims. Here are three ways that you can improve your time to neutral score and your breath timing. One, exhale into the water before taking your next breath. This way, when you turn your head to breathe, you only need to inhale minimizing any unnecessary time spent exhaling while your head is turned to breathe. Two, look across the water as you breathe. Turning your head so much that you look towards the ceiling when you breathe will increase the time you need to return your head to neutral. By looking across the water during your breath, you'll decrease the amount your face exits the water and decrease the time needed for your head to return to a neutral position. Three. Breathe in time with your shoulder roll. When you take your breath, your head should be in sync with your natural shoulder roll of your swimming. Breathing when your shoulder rolls up will minimize how much you need to turn your head to breathe. Then, when your shoulder rolls down, your head should feel like it's leading your hand back to the water. Timing your breath with your shoulder roll will keep your swimming continuous through your breath. Improving your time to neutral, like any aspect of your technique, may be a long process that can take weeks to see sustainable changes. So, to keep improving your time to neutral score, remember to first, exhale into the water before your breath. Second, look across the water when you breathe. Third, breathe in time with your shoulder roll. By doing these, you'll improve your time to neutral, which will lead to better, faster swimming.